Hey what's up everyone, it's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you log info. Now what this is, is a really cool lock screen mod for jailbroken iPhones and iPod touches that lets you view a bunch of different information at a glance at your lock screen or on your home screen. So let me just give you an overview of the different plugins or widgets that you could use with lock info. Now you have your clock and weather widget with a date. Uh, it gives you a six day forecast, highs and lows for all, and it tells you the time at which it was updated. Now you could also manually refresh it by tapping on the refresh button at the right. Now you could reorder any of these any way you want. Uh, the next one we have is mail. Now what's cool about mail is when you double tap on an unread email, if, uh, everything flips over and you could view the email right on your lock screen. So let's wait for it to download really quick. Alright, so here's the email. Uh, when you're looking at your email, you could scroll through it if, uh, like so. It also displays pictures if the email contains images. You could launch mail. You could delete the email from your inbox. Or you could go back to your lock screen. Uh, when you go back to your lock screen without deleting the email, it marks it unread and it gets rid of it from lock info. So you don't even have to unlock your device to even read an email or de even delete it. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one and it's gone. Uh, you could also manually refresh mail if you'd like. Now the next one we have is push notifications. Whenever you get a push, let's say from uh, Beehive or Boxcar like I have here, it will show it up right here. And in your status bar, you will have this little exclamation point inside of a triangle so that you know you have an unread push somewhere. And then tapping on the X to the right of the push marks it as read. Now when, you're, when you have an unread email, I should have shown, shown you this, but the same X is next to that and tapping on that will mark it as unread. And then the next one we have is for text messages. Uh, you could view who it's from as well as the actual body of the message. And then tapping the X will mark it as viewed. It also shows you missed calls, unheard voicemails, Twitter, and RSS feeds. So Twitter obviously lets you view your Twitter stream on your lock screen or home screen and you have the option to refresh it whenever you'd like. And here we are at the RSS uh, plugin. What's cool about this is when dub uh, double tapping on an entry it shows you a little bit about or a little bit of text from the uh, from the post. Tapping down flips it back over and that's it. You could have up to five different RSS feeds and you could refresh them all whenever you'd like. So that's pretty much an overview of all the plugins for uh, lock info. There are a couple more such as a different weather one and a different clock but I like this one a little better than the other one so I'm not just so I'm not going to show those. Okay, so we're going to go look at lock info settings. Uh, to do that, you just have to go to the stock settings app. And go to lock info. Alright, so the first two options let you turn it on or off, either on the lock screen and or the home screen. So flipping lock screen off will obviously take it off of your lock screen. Turning home screen on puts it on the first page of your home screen. It uh, pushes all of your other pages right one more. So that option is on, and I'm going to go to home and show you this. All right, now everything was just pushed over one page, so I'm just going to go to the first page. And here's lock info that you just saw, but it's on my home screen. And I can still flip through my pages of apps like normal pushing the home button goes to lock info. So that's pretty nice.
You've got mail. So I'm going to turn that option off because while it is nice, it's not really something I, I really need. And we'll get to all the plugins and its options in a minute. Scrolling lets you scroll up, uh, up or down. If I turn that off and go to my lock screen, I can't scroll up and down at all. Let me go back to the lock screen and show you something else really quick. Now, when you have something, when you have an entry here, you could tap on the on the name of the plugin, and it will sort of hide everything inside of it for a while until you tap on it again, and then they all come back up. Okay, so full screen. Uh, I'm not going to turn that on because it's a little bit buggy at the moment. Uh, if you have full screen on, it will get rid of your slide to unlock bar. It's still there, it's just invisible. So it pretty much extends the lock info from just to the, to the top of the slide to unlock thing all the way to the bottom of the screen. That's pretty much what extend to bottom does, but it puts itself behind your... Uh, your slide to unlock mechanism. Now block pop-ups, this is really cool. So if you use the, let's, uh, this is just an example. If you use the push notification plugin, I'm trying to get the light back on. Okay, so if you use the push notification plugin, and let's say you get a push, and usually you would get a pop-up box uh, asking you to view it or just close the box. This option blocks those and it just sticks the information into the appropriate plugin. Alright, so home screen. If you have uh, lock info enabled to run on your lock screen, these are the options for you. I'm not going to go through those because I don't really use it on my home screen. Media controls. Uh, when, you double, when you double tap your home button, it's usually brings up the iPod controls. So you have some options here. When you double tap on your home button, you could either move lock info down a little bit, you could hide lock info completely, or you could just uh, have the media controls pop up over lock info. And then you could also have the album art overlay behind lock info. Here you can change your font size. As you can see here, everything is huge. So I'm going to go back to small. Then each section or plugin or widget, like I said a little bit earlier, you can tap on the name of it and it will hide everything that's inside of it. This option lets you turn that on or off. Now, hide empty sections pretty much uh, turns off empty sections until something shows up. So, if you remember before, I had uh, missed calls, voicemail, notifications. Since I don't have any unread of anything there, it just hides those sections until something comes back in. Then you could change some transparency options. You could view the frequently asked questions.